What we will do now is we will start adding some more blocks. So we use the red button on top. And over here you see all kinds of blocks that are available in the basic version of App Machine. Um, for example, a call block. Just enter a phone number. And uh, call us. You change the name of the block. You hit this finish button and it will uh, work um, immediately. Let's see. If you click the button, it will show up like this in your app. And makes it really, really easy for people to phone you. Um, we can add another block. Uh, you can add all your contact information, make it easy for people to email you, add events that you're organizing, um, add a Facebook account, for example. Um, and what we will now do, we'll add a photo block. And you can use different uh, data sources to get where you want to get your photos uh, from. So if I choose Instagram and I can hit the search query flowers, um, and here you see the screen again. Yes, and I, I, I entered the search query uh, flowers. I don't want to use people with flowers in their name, but I want to show all images that with that are tagged with the words flowers. So I'll call this uh, photos and we'll just save it. And here you see the different um, flowers from Instagram, which are tagged with flowers. Uh, we also, at the settings tab, offer some different views. If you want to have uh, four um, images next to each other, for example, you can also uh, make it look like this. You can select an image and you can browse through them and you can even share um, your photos is not available in the simulator, but it is in your iPhone preview or your previewer. And you can see exactly immediately how the app will look like. So um, let's add another block and we'll add a point of interest block because our flower shop has multiple um, offices. So here are our different locations. And we have a lot of blocks that look like this one. Uh, where you can add the data by hand and you say this is our uh, headquarters headquarters oh. and we'll, can we can use uh, this is our image selector you can use an image from um, uh, the, the site um, or you can do a search on google for example for flower shop let's see Yes, this looks like a great shop. Yes, we'll use that one. And uh, we can tell everybody uh, this is uh, our main location. And where are we based? We are based in London. So, so you can add the address. It will show it on the map. You can add your phone number and you can add your uh, website. And we will save this. So for now you can add your, yeah, we've added already one location. It's shown on the map. You can also go to the list and select that one and you see all the information uh, over here. So it's really easy. You just add your different uh, locations and uh, you are good to go. After you've um, added, oh yeah, I want to show one block, the submenu. I want to show the submenu because it's always uh, great. For example, if you call it social, we'll add the submenu, we'll put it somewhere inside of our app. And what we can do is you can move blocks. Just go to the uh, arrow and you can move blocks and put it inside uh, of, an, of, of the submenu block. So your home screen will become less become less crowded. So that's, you, can organ, you can structure the, your app the way you want to.